and one exclusive economic zone (EEZ) is a sea zone prescribed by the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea over which a state has special rights regarding the exploration and use of marine resources, including energy production from water and wind. It stretches from the baseline out to 200 nautical miles (NMI) from its coast. In colloquial usage, the term may include the continental shelf. The term does not include either the territorial sea or the continental shelf beyond the 200 NMI limit. The difference between the territorial sea and the exclusive economic zone is that the first confers full sovereignty over the waters, whereas the second is merely a «sovereign right», which refers to the coastal state's rights below the surface of the sea. The surface waters, as can be seen in the map, are international waters. Definition Generally, a state's exclusive economic zone is an area beyond and adjacent to the territorial sea, extending seaward to a distance of no more than 200 nmi out from its coastal baseline. The exception to this rule occurs when exclusive economic zones would overlap, that is, state coastal baselines are less than 400 nmi apart. When an overlap occurs, it is up to the states to delineate the actual maritime boundary. Generally, any point within an overlapping area defaults to the nearest state. A state's exclusive economic zone starts at the seaward edge of its territorial sea and extends outward to a distance of 200 nmi (370 kilometers) from the baseline. The exclusive economic zone stretches much further into sea than the territorial waters, which end at 12 nmi from the coastal baseline if following the rules set out in the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea. Thus, the exclusive economic zones includes the contiguous zone. States also have rights to the seabed of what is called the continental shelf up to 350 nmi 650 km from the coastal baseline, beyond the exclusive economic zones, but such areas are not part of their exclusive economic zones. The legal definition of the continental shelf does not directly correspond to the geological meaning of the term, as it also includes the continental rise and slope, and the entire seabed within the exclusive economic zone. Origin The idea of allotting nations EEZs to give them more control of maritime affairs outside territorial limits gained acceptance in the late 20th century. Initially, a country's sovereign territorial waters extended 3 nmi or 5.6 km range of cannon shot beyond the shore. In modern times, a country's sovereign territorial waters extend to 12 nmi km beyond the shore. One of the first assertions of exclusive jurisdiction beyond the traditional territorial seas was made by the United States in the Truman Proclamation of September 28, 1945. However, it was Chile and Peru respectively that first claimed maritime zones of 200 nautical miles with the Presidential Declaration Concerning Continental Shelf of 23 June 1947 El Mercurio, Santiago de Chile, 29 June 1947 and Presidential Decree No. 781 of 1 August 1947 El Peruano, Diario Oficial. Volume 107, No. 1983, of August 1947, it was not until 1982 with the UN Convention on the Law of the Sea that the 200 nautical mile exclusive economic zone was formally adopted. <laughs> Disputes The exact extent of exclusive economic zones is a common source of conflicts between states over marine waters. Norway and Russia dispute both territorial sea and EEZ with regard to the Svalbard archipelago as it affects Russia's EEZ due to its unique treaty status. A treaty was agreed in principle in April 2010 between the two states and subsequently ratified, resolving this demarcation dispute. The agreement was signed in Murmansk on September 15, 2010. The South China Sea and the Spratly Islands is the site of an ongoing dispute between several neighboring nations. Croatia's ZERP ecological and fisheries protection zone in the Adriatic Sea caused friction with Italy and Slovenia and caused problems during Croatia's accession to the European Union. 
A wedge-shaped section of the Beaufort Sea is disputed between Canada and the United States, as the area reportedly contains substantial oil reserves. France claims a portion of Canada's EEZ for saint pierre et miquelon based on a new definition of the continental shelf and EEZ between the two countries. saint pierre et miquelon is entirely surrounded by Canada's EEZ. Mauritius claims EEZ for Tromelan from France and EEZ for British Indian Ocean Territory from the UK. Turkey claims a portion of Cyprus's EEZ based on Turkey's peculiar definition that Cyprus is only entitled to a 12 nautical mile EEZ rather than the usual 200 that Turkey and all other countries are entitled to, including an area to the south of Cyprus containing an offshore gas field. Furthermore, the internationally unrecognized Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus (TRNC), which was created as a result of the Turkish invasion of Cyprus, also claims portions of Cyprus's EEZ. Cyprus and the international community do not acknowledge the Turkish claims on Cyprus's land and sea, which are viewed as illegal under international law. Lebanon claims that the agreement between Cyprus and Israel overlapped its own EEZ. Potential disputes Regions where a permanent ice shelf extends beyond the coastline are also a source of potential dispute. Resolved disputes The Cod Wars between the United Kingdom and Iceland occurred periodically over many decades, until they were resolved with a final agreement in 1976. In 1999, following the Hanish Islands conflict, the Permanent Court of Arbitration ruled that the EEZs of Yemen and Eritrea should be demarcated equidistantly between the mainlands of the two nations, without taking account of sovereignty over the islands. In 2009, in a dispute between Romania and Ukraine over Snake Island, the UN International Court of Justice decided that Snake Island has no EEZ beyond 12 nautical miles of its own land. Transboundary stocks Fisheries management, usually adhering to guidelines set by the FAO, provides significant practical mechanisms for the control of EEZs. Transboundary fish stocks are an important concept in this control. Transboundary stocks are fish stocks that range in the EEZs of at least two countries. Straddling stocks, on the other hand, range both within an EEZ as well as in the high seas, outside any EEZ. A stock can be both transboundary and straddling. By country Argentina Australia Australia's exclusive economic zone was declared on 1 August 1994, and extends from 12 nautical miles to 200 nautical miles from the coastline of Australia and its external territories, except where a maritime delimitation agreement exists with another state. To the 12 nautical miles boundary is Australia's territorial waters. Australia has the third largest exclusive economic zone, behind France and the United States, but ahead of Russia, with the total area of 8,148,250 square kilometres, which actually exceeds its land territory. The United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf confirmed, in April 2008, Australia's rights over an additional 2.5 million square kilometres of seabed beyond the limits of Australia's EEZ. Australia also claimed, in its submission to the UN Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf, additional continental shelf passed its EEZ from the Australian Antarctic Territory, but these claims were deferred on Australia's request. However, Australia's EEZ from its Antarctic Territory is approximately 2 million square kilometres. Brazil Brazil's EEZ includes areas around the Fernando de Noronha Islands, St. Paul and St. Peter Archipelago and the Trindade and Martim Islands. 
In 2004, the country submitted its claims to the United Nations Commission on the Limits of the Continental Shelf to extend its maritime continental margin. Canada Canada is unusual in that its exclusive economic zone, covering 5,599,077 square kilometers, 2,161,816 square miles, is slightly smaller than its territorial waters. The latter generally extend only 12 nautical miles from the shore, but also include inland marine waters such as Hudson Bay, about 300 nautical miles, 560 kilometers, 350 miles across, the Gulf of St. Lawrence and the internal waters of the Arctic Archipelago. Topic: <laughs> Chile Chile's EEZ includes areas around the Desventuradas Islands, Easter Island and the Juan Fernandez Islands. There is a dispute with Peru over the extent of Chile's EEZ, Chilean-Peruvian maritime dispute. <laughs> China The first figure excludes all disputed waters, while the last figure indicates China's claimed boundaries, and does not take into account neighboring powers' claims. <inaudible> Cyprus The exclusive economic zone of Cyprus covers more than 70,000 square kilometers and is divided between 13 exploration blocks. The process of the establishment of Cyprus, Israel and Lebanon exclusive economic zones was held in Nicosia in 2010 with separate meetings between each country. Cyprus and Israel as part of their wider cooperation have agreed to start their gas explorations with a common American company, specifically Noble Energy. Cypriot and Israeli governments are discussing to export their natural gas through the shipping of compressed natural gas to Greece and then to the rest of Europe or through a subsea pipeline starting from Israel and then leading to Greece via Cyprus. <laughs> Denmark The Kingdom of Denmark includes the constituent country of Greenland and the constituent country of the Faroe Islands. France Due to its numerous overseas departments and territories scattered on all oceans of the planet, France possesses the largest EEZ in the world, covering 11,691,000 square kilometers, 4,514,000 square miles. The EEZ of the United States is the second largest, 11,351,000 square kilometers, 4,382,000 square miles. The EEZ of France covers approximately 8% of the total surface of all the EEZs of the world, whereas the land area of the French Republic is only 0.45% of the total land area of the Earth. Greece Greece has claimed an exclusive economic zone, as it is entitled to do so, as per UNCLOS 1982 as well as customary international law. According to published maps, the Israel government has recognized the exclusive economic zones of Greece and Cyprus. They describe the course of the gas pipeline which will transfer gas produced by American New Obel Epsilon Nergy Limited from the Leviathan Reservoir to Europe, through an undersea pipeline crossing Greece. The gas pipeline should traverse the sea area, which according to international law, is part of the Greek EEZ. By this proposal, Israel recognizes the Greek EEZ in the area and offers an advantage that Greece can use during negotiation procedures to support its claims on the area. In practice, this cooperation will set up a powerful energy coalition between Greece, Cyprus and Israel. The mining and operating part will be undertaken by an American company. The substance of the issue is that in an effort to protect and secure vital Israeli interests in the Mediterranean Sea, Israel has been left with no choice other than to officially delimit its maritime borders. <inaudible> India 
Mainland India and Lakshadweep 1,641,514 square kilometers Andaman and Nicobar Islands 663,629 square kilometers Total 2,305,143 square kilometers India is currently seeking to extend its EEZ to 350 miles Topic Israel In 2010, an agreement was signed with Cyprus concerning the limit of territorial waters between Israel and Cyprus at the Maritime Halfway Point, a clarification essential for safeguarding Israel's rights to oil and underwater gas reservoirs. The agreement was signed in Nicosia by Israeli Infrastructure Minister Uzi Landau and the Cypriot Foreign Minister Marcos Kipriano. The two countries agreed to cooperate in the development of any cross-border resources discovered, and to negotiate an agreement on dividing joint resources. <laughs> Japan Minami Torishima, 428,875 square kilometers Ogasawara Islands, 862,782 square kilometers. Pacific Ocean, Japan, 1,162,334 square kilometers. Ryukyu Islands, 1,394,676 square kilometers. Sea of Japan, 630,721 square kilometers. Sea of Okhotsk, Little. Total 4,479,358. Japan has disputes over its EEZ boundaries with all its Asian neighbors: Russia, Republic of Korea, China, and Taiwan. The above and relevant maps at the Sea Around Us project both indicate Japan's claimed boundaries and do not take into account neighboring powers' claims. Japan also refers to various categories of shipping area. Smooth water area, coasting area, major or greater coasting area, ocean going area, but it is unclear whether these are intended to have any territorial or economic implications. Mexico Mexico's exclusive economic zones comprise a total surface area of 3,144,295 square kilometers and places Mexico among the countries with the largest areas in the world. This puts Mexico's total territory as 5,153,735 square kilometers. Topic: New Zealand New Zealand's EEZ covers 4,083,744 square kilometers, 1,576,742 square miles, which is approximately 15 times the land area of the country. Sources vary significantly on the size of New Zealand's EEZ. For example, a recent government publication gave the area as roughly 4,300,000 square kilometers. These figures are for the EEZ of New Zealand proper, and do not include the EEZs of other territories in the realm of New Zealand Tokelau, Niue, the Cook Islands and the Ross Dependency. <laughs> North Korea The exclusive economic zone of North Korea stretches 200 nautical miles from its base points in both the West Sea Yellow Sea and the East Sea, sea of Japan. The EEZ was declared in 1977 after North Korea had contested the validity of the Northern Limit Lines set up after the Korean War as maritime borders. The EEZ has not been codified in law and North Korea has never specified its coordinates, making it difficult to determine its specific scope. In the West Sea, the EEZ remains unspecified in the Korean Bay because China has not determined its own EEZ in the area. The border between the North Korean and South Korean EEZs in the West Sea cannot be determined because of potential overlap and disputes over certain islands. In the East Sea, the North Korean EEZ can be approximated to be trapezoidal shaped. The border between North Korea and Russia's respective EEZs is the only such border that has been determined in East Asia. Here, the EEZ does not cause many problems, even with regards to South Korea, because the sea is not thought to be rich in resources.
Topic: Norway. Norway has a large exclusive economic zone of 819,620 square kilometers around its coast. The country has a fishing zone of 1,878,953 square kilometers, including fishing zones around Svalbard and January Mayen. In April 2009, the United Nations Commission for the Limits of the Continental Shelf approved Norway's claim to an additional 235,000 square kilometers of continental shelf. The Commission found that Norway and Russia both had valid claims over a portion of shelf in the Barents Sea. Philippines The Philippines EEZ covers 2,263,816 square kilometers, 874,064 square miles. Topic: Poland The Polish EEZ covers the area of 30,533 square kilometers, 11,789 square miles within the Baltic Sea. Topic: <inaudible> Portugal. Portugal has the 20th largest EEZ in the world. Presently, it is divided in 3 non-contiguous sub-zones. Continental Portugal 327,667 square kilometers Azores 953,633 square kilometers Madeira 446,108 square kilometers total 1,727,408 square kilometers Portugal submitted a claim to extend its jurisdiction over additional 2.15 million square kilometers of the neighboring continental shelf in May 2009 resulting in an area with a total of more than 3,877,408 square kilometers the submission as well as a detailed map can be found in the task group for the extension of the continental shelf website Spain disputes the EEZ's southern border, maintaining that it should be drawn halfway between Madeira and the Canary Islands. But Portugal exercises sovereignty over the Savage Islands, a small archipelago north of the Canaries, claiming an EEZ border further south. Spain objects, arguing that the Savage Islands do not have a separate continental shelf, citing Article 121 of the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea. Russia Kaliningrad Baltic Sea 11634 square kilometers Street Petersburg Baltic Sea 12759 square kilometers Barents Sea 1,308,140 square kilometers Black Sea without the Crimean EEZ 66854 square kilometers Pacific 3,419,202 square kilometers. Siberia 3,277,292 square kilometers. Total 8,095,881 square kilometers. Topic: Somalia. 825,052 square kilometers. Topic: South Africa. South Africa's EEZ includes both that next to the African mainland and that around the Prince Edward Islands, totaling 1,535,538 square kilometers. Mainland 1,068,659 square kilometers. Prince Edward Islands 466,879 square kilometers. South Korea Area, 300,851 km2 United Kingdom 
The United Kingdom's exclusive economic zone is the fifth largest in the world at 6,805,586 square km. It comprises the exclusive economic zone surrounding the United Kingdom, the Crown Dependencies, and the British Overseas Territories. The figure does not include the EEZ of the British Antarctic Territory. The exclusive economic zones associated with the Falkland Islands and South Georgia are disputed by Argentina. The EEZ of the Chagos Archipelago also known as the British Indian Ocean Territory is also disputed with Mauritius which considers the EEZ as part of its territory. The UK was late to establish an EEZ, relying on overlapping maritime zones for fisheries, pollution control, and energy matters. The Marine and Coastal Access Act 2009 gave the powers to establish an EEZ, with the zone defined by the Exclusive Economic Zone Order 2013 which came into force on 31 March 2014. Only the United Kingdom and Gibraltar are part of the EU. The Crown Dependencies and the remaining overseas territories that is, all except Gibraltar are not part of the EU. The United Kingdom has not as yet claimed its rights with regards to Gibraltar or the sovereign base areas in Cyprus. Part of the overseas territory of St. Helena, Ascension and Tristan da Cunha, which together has an EEZ of 1,641,294 square km. United States The United States Exclusive Economic Zone is the second largest in the world, covering 11,351,000 square kilometers. Areas of its EEZ are located in three oceans, the Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean Sea. Magnuson-Stevens Fishery Conservation and Management Act The sizes of the components of the U.S. EEZ – territorial seas are in decreasing size. Alaska 3,770,021 square kilometers 1,455,613 square miles Hawaii – Northwest Islands 1,579,538 square kilometers 609,863 square miles U.S. East Coast 915,763 square kilometers 353,578 square miles Hawaii, Main Islands 895,346 square kilometers, 345,695 square miles. US West Coast 825,549 square kilometers, 318,746 square miles. Northern Marianas 749,268 square kilometers, 289,294 square miles. Mainland Gulf Coast 707,832 square kilometers, 273,295 square miles. Johnston Atoll 442,635 square kilometers, 170,902 square miles. Howland and Baker Islands 434,921 square kilometers, 167,924 square miles. Wake Island 407,241 square kilometers 157,237 square miles American Samoa 404,391 square kilometers 156,136 square miles Palmyra Atoll and Kingman Reef 352,300 square kilometers 136,000 square miles Jarvis Island 316,665 square kilometers, 122,265 square miles. Guam 221,504 square kilometers, 85,523 square miles. Puerto Rico 177,685 square kilometers, 68,605 square miles. US Virgin Islands 33,744 square kilometers 13,029 square miles total 11,351,000 square kilometers 4,383,000 square miles Topic Rankings by area 
This list includes dependent territories within their sovereign states including uninhabited territories, but does not include claims on Antarctica. EEZ plus TIA is Exclusive Economic Zone EEZ plus Total Internal Area TIA which includes land and internal waters. See also Air Defense Identification Zone Baseline Continental Shelf International Waters R. V. Marshall Special Economic Zone Territorial Waters Notes and references Notes References Works cited Suk Kyun Kim Maritime Disputes in Northeast Asia, Regional Challenges and Cooperation. Leiden, Brill. ISBN 978-90-04-34422-8. Koch, John Barry, Abbey, Michael Ending Naval Clashes on the Northern Limit Line and the Quest for a West Sea Peace Regime. PDF. Asian Perspectives, 27 2, 175–204. Archived from the original PDF on the 25th of July 2011. Prescott, John Robert Victor, Schofield, Clive H. 2001. Furness, Sheila, ed. Undelimited Maritime Boundaries of the Asian Rim in the Pacific Ocean. Maritime Briefing, Durham, International Boundaries Research Unit, University of Durham, 3. 1. ISBN 9781897643433. Van Dyke, John M. 2009. Disputes over islands and maritime boundaries in East Asia. In Siang Yang Hong, John M. Van Dyke. Maritime boundary disputes, settlement processes, and the law of the sea. Leiden, Brill. pp. 39-76. ISBN 90-04-17343-9. External links Marineregions.org interactive map, showing boundaries and disputes United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea, Part 5 See Around Us Project, View the EEZ of All Nations Note that this site does not distinguish between territorial waters and the EEZ, and so tends to overstate EEZ areas The USA Zone since 1977 GIS data, VLIZ.be Foreign military activities in Asian EEZs, Conflict Ahead, by Mark J. Valencia May 2011. EEZ management